How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brown Logan and today we got to talk about a controversial video that has gone viral over the past two or three days of a dad pulling out a knife similar to this on a student in a PTA style meeting. Now the meeting, if you don't know, if you've not heard about the story yet, the meeting was about having armed officers in school. I guess the kid that the knife got pulled out on, he was not in any real danger, but that's aside from the point and I digress, but the knife was pulled on him to show him a point because the kid was against having armed officers in the school and the dad was for it. He has two daughters that go to that school, so he wanted them to be safe and he was for armed officers. Now before I get into the breakdown of the video, before I give you all my thoughts about guns in school, teachers being armed or whatever else is related to the topic, I wanna show you the video and also a news story, a local news story up there in Long Island, New York. So you're able to see the kids reaction, the father of the kids reaction, other parents reaction, and also the video in context. So you're able to understand what's happening after we get done with that. I wrap it on up and put a nice bow on top. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Well, Bill, school safety is the number one priority among many across the country and here on Long Island. And emotions have been running high, especially over the past few weeks. But when a parent brought in a pocket knife to demonstrate his stance on school safety, many say he went too far. I'm considerably larger than you, okay? If, they, if, uh, if something happened, if I decided to attack you, it would take the cops three to five minutes mm -hmm. to come here probably 10 if the traffic's bad. What are you going to do now? What are you going to do now? Stop it! Yeah, stop. Stop. Yeah. This is inappropriate, please. No, it's not inappropriate. Okay. That's illegal! You are the <laughs> Unfortunately, it's reality, what? though. Those are what you can't pull a switchblade out on a kid in a school. That's insane. Well, what do you think a guy with a gun? No, that's ball? completely sir, illegal. Sir, sir, sir. This is why we need security. This is why we need armed guards. No, this is why we need You can't this guy out. What are you going to do? I just walked into the building with this. It's not a gun. But I can do a lot of damage with it. This what are you gonna do? I have I have two girls in this school. Sir? What are you gonna do? I wanna know. Would you first please? What are you gonna do? Tell me. What are you going to do now? Moments after Jade Pinkenberg voiced his opinion that he didn't want officers in his school to be armed. I pulled out what I saw, what I saw as a knife. A parent makes an opposing argument during a public health and safety committee meeting at Rocky Point High School using a closed pocket knife targeting Jade. It came as a shock and I, that was kind of really scary. I didn't know what he was going to do with it. It was totally inappropriate. Jade's father jumped to his son's defense. I started shouting that he should just stop it. Yeah? So I don't think there was no intention to harm my son. So there was never a feeling that you know things were really got completely out of hand. Um, but it was certainly he was treating my son like an object. School leaders responding to the events unfolding, saying while the district firmly acknowledges that the demonstration was ill-conceived and inappropriate for the venue, we believe that the act was not intended to compromise the safety of those in attendance. That man, identified as a dad of two students in the district, was asked to leave the meeting. And while many disagree with his decision and demeanor, some feel it was an overreaction. It was kind of like a tough love type of moment to teach a lesson. It drove home the point to most of the adults in the room. We understood what he was trying to do. And at no point felt threatened. Okay, so you saw what's going on there. You see what's happening now you kind of understand more of what's going on. Let's get to the first thing first, the the knife that got pulled. I think it was a knife like this. This is like an X-Acto knife. You know, you can cut somebody with this and do some damage, but it's a switchblade kind of thing. It's not really a switchblade, it's just a knife that it, it can extend. You can put it on your belt buckle or whatever. This can do some damage. And what the dad was doing was proving the point. He didn't extend it. He, had, he held it like this 
just in front of the kid like what are you going to do now the knife is in front of you what's going to happen and the point was made i think everybody pretty much understood that the superintendent made a statement and said that he understood what was going on the statement was clear it's like look when a knife is in front of your face, when a gun is in front of your face, what are you going to do? Do you not want to have people that are armed to protect you in that situation or even better to arm yourself to protect yourself? Because if you got a knife in your face, the time is limited. You can't be waiting on someone else to come there. Now, if you have an armed officer who is just feet away from you, you have a better chance, of course, but it'd be better if you had a gun on you that might be kind of a pipe dream but i'll move on it's much better to have somebody that's there who is armed who could take care of that threat versus somebody that's not and the whole thing about it being illegal that was funny he was like it's illegal it's legal you can't do it do you think criminals care about illegality see that's the whole point about gun control and things like that these criminals do not care about what's legal about what's illegal they're going to do what they want to do because they want to do it. They don't care about your laws. They don't care about your rules. And that's just how that goes. Now, to get to the whole thing about arming officers, do I think we should have armed officers in school? Absolutely. When I was going to school, I'm 33. I graduated in 2002 from high school. When I was in school, we had armed officers. Not only did we had like the school resource officers, we had them like kind of like security guards we had them. I'm not sure if they were armed or not, but we did have cops that would come into school. We had bike cops and they, they were armed. We also had metal detectors. We had like basically the airport system pre TSA. You know, now with the TSA, you got to go through this little machine and make you, you know, spin around and do a pirouette. Oh, you know, all kind of trouble you got to go through just to get to your airplane. Ours was not quite that extensive, but we did have the bars you had to go through, kind of like a department store. That's kind of how it was, but a department store would just check to see if you were trying to steal, if a tag would activate, but ours was obviously for metal, so if you had your keys or whatever in your pocket, take that out, and you also had a wand. On certain days of the year, like on exam day, that was kind of strange. Like, why would exam day be a special day where you got to get the wand? I don't know, but I'll move on. We had that system in place in high school, and I didn't feel like it was a bad thing. I felt more secure knowing that if you go through those metal detectors, you're not going to be able to bring in a weapon to school to shoot it up. And also you had the officers who were armed. It made sense for us to have it that way. And then beyond that, teachers being armed. Um, I think if a teacher wants to be armed and if they are qualified to be armed, then they should be. There was a story floating around about a teacher shooting the pistol in the classroom accidentally and students got injured, but I don't think it's what the media was trying to say it was because the way the media was presenting it in headlines, they were trying to say, oh, well, just a regular teacher, a regular normie teacher had a gun and it went off and they shot some kids. That's not really what happened. It was a person who was like a gun instructor who just had an accident. It wasn't like a, a regular science teacher who just got his gun for the first day because he could do it, and then it went off in class. That's not what happened. It was an accident that just happened to coincide with the whole talk about arming teachers. You got a lot of teachers that have had past lives, some that are ex-police officers, some that are ex-military, some that are just trained well with firearms and they're comfortable with firearms. They should be able to carry if they so desire. Matter of fact, there are certain schools running the country where they already do it that have already had this ability to do it years before this current talk has even been happening. So I don't think it's really going to be a thing you got to worry about teachers just shooting kids and stuff like that. Because think about it this way. There are people right now who open carry and concealed carry all over the place in church, um, you know, on a college campus, maybe if they're able to do that in the grocery store um at musical events or whatever and you don't just hear about somebody that is a lawful concealed carry or open carry owner just shooting people for no reason that's not a common thing that happens so i doubt that the current trends of that not being common would change if you were to allow teachers more than carry right now to carry inside the classroom so let's just get beyond that whole fear but back to the situation happened in Long Island, I think that was a good teaching moment 
for everyone that was involved, for the child that was there, for the parents. I mean, even the guy's dad who got the knife pulled on him didn't think that he was in any kind of danger or what have you. Some thought that it was inappropriate. He got kicked out and all this and that. But the point was made, if you got the knife right on you, if you got the gun right on you, what's going to be your best chance of survival? A, not having anybody there on the campus armed, or B, trying to call the police, waiting for them to come with their arms. And what's the difference? If you want to have a police officer rescue you in a situation where you need them, with a gun, why not have them already there with their gun? So the chances of you being saved and being rescued are better. And then beyond that, having at least one officer there that's armed at the school already, maybe even more than one, two or three, if all of them have arms, that is a deterrent from someone going to the school and engaging in the mass shooting. Now, I'm not saying it's going to totally stop it, a total just, it will never happen. It's a preventative measure. The chances of you having a mass shooting at a place that is well armed and secure is less than at a place that you know is not armed and insecure. It's very simple, basic one plus one equals two math. That's pretty evident. If you look at the numbers, if you look at places that have more arms, people are trained, they're responsible with their guns, you're going to have less crime, less shootings because. People don't really want to go into a situation where they're trying to engage in a mass shooting when they know that it won't end up well for them. When they know it's a guy right there who has a gun, they want to have defenseless targets. It's like shooting fish in a barrel versus going out there and trying to capture a shark. But that's pretty much all I got to say. What say you? Do you think that the dad went overboard? He went way too far with his lesson. Do you think that he could have made a point in a different way? And... If you think that, then what could he have done to make his point aside from doing what he did? Was there shock value there? Of course. Was it over the top? Yes. But I think you need to have an over the top thing and shock values make a good point. I think that his objective was met. The video was gone viral. It's created a discussion. We can have the discussion right here on this channel and wherever else you want to talk about it at. And do you think that I'm right? Do you think that the dad did the right thing? by bringing the knife not really brandishing it because like i said he was holding it like this he didn't extend it he didn't remove the top and show the blade he didn't do that so i think what he did here was appropriate some may have been shocked but like i said the shock value was needed do you agree do you disagree whatever your comments are please let me know in the comments below and that's all i gotta say for this video if you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.